In this video, I'm going to be showing you some easy ways to make coins in FIFA 21. You've probably just got it for Christmas Day. Why not make some coins now? If I start slurring my words and stuff, just let me off, right? We've been doing a stream. There was a few beverages involved. Carried on going. It is what it is. But let's... Merry Christmas. I mean, out of all this, Merry Christmas. What a year it has been. I honestly, I've not got a clue what to say. Boys, if you enjoy this video, just drop a like on it. No light target on it. Don't worry about any of that. Just please just have the best Christmas that you can with everything that's going on. But let's get into this video. Just before we get into the video, lads, if you do want to buy yourself any FIFA 21 coins, make sure to go to the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. They've got a 24-7 service. They're completely reliable. And if you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. So, boys, we are currently on PlayStation tonight because I've literally just finished up my stream and I thought, why not just do a video on PlayStation? Now, these methods, I'm probably going to be repeating myself from some other videos, but to be honest, considering that so many new people will be wanting trading methods today, I'm basically just, we're taking it back to basics, lads. Uh, if you don't know anything about trading, these methods are perfect for you. What you want to do is jump over to the transfer market, go to quality, go over to silver, set the max price to 2,500 and the min buy now to 2,500 and you will be able to find yourself a couple of different cards now what you want to do at this stage as soon as you see yourself a card right this is what you want to do you just want to drop a bid on it it doesn't matter what the price is well i suppose it does in the first instance if you're sort of trying to gauge how to do this method i probably wouldn't say just jump in like this but basically if you've played fee for a bit you know how these bidding methods work you're basically just looking for cards on the market if they've got a bid on them that usually means that they've got some demand around that card maybe people want them for the team or say they want them for a different squad building challenge or whatever it is they may be needed for something so basically what you're doing is coming in and trying to basically get the card for as cheap as you possibly can on an open bid because you might be able to sell it for a tiny bit more now the tax on all sales on the market on the transfer market is around five percent so make sure to factor that into all of the prices that you're bidding at at the minute to be honest lads if you're starting off in fifa 21 from absolute scratch just make sure to click up here and you can go to my trading to one million coin series where i go through from absolutely nothing putting myself basically in the same position that you're in now and going up to 1 million coins. So as you'll be able to see here, we've already managed to be able to get ourselves a card at 350 coins and it is this Lines, I think that's how you pronounce his name. So he's going on the market right now for around 1.1k. Let's see if there's anything cheaper than 1.1 and all I'm doing right here is just looking at the buy now price at the bottom whilst I scroll through all the cards. Basically what we're looking for is no cheaper than 1,000 coins. Oh, there's actually one there at 450 so I'm actually going to pick that one up and just get that one out of the way and we'll relist ours. So I was going to say nothing cheaper than 1,000 coins but we saw one for 450 there's actually quite quite a few a bit cheaper so what we're actually going to do here is pick up these other ones and then list up these for the tiniest bit higher and what you're looking to do when you win these cards on bin is basically just undercut whatever the next cheapest buy now is now what i did right there was basically picked up cards who were a bit cheaper but there was only say like three four of those cards and i've just done something called a price fix now if you're not too sure what a price fix is don't worry like i said you can go and check out that series and it will teach you everything that you need to know but there you go there's going to be the first method if you've got absolutely nothing 2500 by 2500 you'll be able to make yourself some coins and you can see here that we've actually managed to get ourselves three different players this show across for 300 coins who goes for around 600 coins got ourselves a nicholas right here who goes for what looks like around 850 coins we got him at 550 and then finally we've got gariddy who goes for what looks like around 850 coins and we've got him for 500 coins so not bad now lads if you're looking for another method though say that bidding method doesn't really work for you there's something that you can do in fifa 21 called sniping now if again if you're a long term viewer of the channel you know exactly what sniping is but basically what sniping is right it's basically going picking up a card for cheaper than what they're going for on the market so say for example right there's this goalkeeper called galaxy who's an 85 rated keeper and at the minute he's going for around 10,000 coins there or thereabouts on the market so you can see right here that he's currently going for around 11,000 coins on the market right so what we are trying to do with sniping is trying to pick up this card for cheaper than that 11,000 coins because if we can pick it up for cheaper we can sell it on for a profit obviously there's that five percent ear tax so we need to pick a good price when we're doing this sniping so what we're going to do is put this max price to say down to around 9.5k he's selling at 11,000 coins if we can pick him up at 9.5k we're making 1,500 coins profit on that before the air tax and what we're going to do is just set the max price to 15 million just like this knock it down once and then just search up and we're just going to keep doing that over and over again and what this is going to do is refresh the market so you can see as many of these deals as you can do so basically what happens is say for example people pack him on Christmas or say for example people have got him in the club and they just want to sell him on the 
they'll list them up for the tiniest bit cheaper and if anything pops up for cheaper than nine and a half thousand coins by doing this method we can see it by using sniping so you can see right here that immediately I've seen one at nine thousand coins now as soon as you see this card you need to be really quick at basically picking it up which is usually the button combination would be down on the controller then X then down again then X so it's basically down X down X and then as soon as you do that, you basically get into the rhythm of sniping, to be honest. So at the minute, you can actually go and pick yourself up some 85 rated cards for very, very cheap on some snipes. The main reason for that is, is because we've got an SBC at the minute, a squad building challenge, which requires 85 rated cards. So with there being hype around a card, usually that means that the player's price will go up. And then you can come in and maybe just like sort of skim off the bottom. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm just going to try and see if I can see myself another card. Just so I can show you, lads, how effective this method will be. And over the course of Christmas, with everyone buying packs obviously because it's christmas and they've got money or they've got fifa points for christmas or whatever it may be there will be so many good deals on the market so any 85 rated players that you can find they're probably decent to trade with right now so make sure to go and try it out oh there we go oh damn it i've managed to miss out at one at 9.2k let's like I said, when you come to do this on Christmas Day, there'll be a lot more supply of this and you'll see that a lot frequently. And to be honest, you'll probably get a lot more snipes because people will be playing more games. But there you go, boys. There's another way to make coins. Let's jump into the third and final way to make coins in this video. Let's get into it. Now, boys, this final method is going to be utilizing something called chemistry styles. Now, what chemistry styles do is actually gives your players a boost. So, for example, right here, if we go over to chemistry styles and we go over to shadow, this is one of the most popular chemistry styles in FIFA 21. And at the minute on the market, it's actually going for around 3,000 coins as you can see right here with the time remaining being 59 minutes. As soon as you try and add one of these to your transfer tags to try and buy one, these will all be gone. So the minimum price on all these at the minute is around 3.2k. So say for example, right, you find yourself a player with a shadow chem style on. Theoretically, they've got an added value of 3,000 coins. So say for example with I don't know, let's just say Koke off the top of my head. Say Koke is going for 10,000 coins. Say if I found him with a shadow on him, he could be going for 13,000 coins if there's nothing cheaper on the market. So basically what we're trying to do here is basically pick up cards with shadow or hunters because they're the most popular chemistry styles in FIFA 21 for as cheap as we can possibly get them to then sell them on for a profit. So we're going to go over here. We're going to go over to gold row and we're going to go over to the max buy now. We're going to try and find what the min buy now is of all shadow cards on the market. Now typically you're looking for players who are more defensive players because the shadow chemistry style boosts pa pace and they say passing then and defending so as you can see right here there's an undombele there at 1.5k and there's a lama there at 1.5k as well and finally there's a paulinho there at 1.3k so this is basically what the method is you need to pick up players for as cheap as you can possibly get them and then try and sell them on for a profit so here we managed to get ourselves a lama for 1.5k i think that i could personally sell him on for 2,000 coins because he's got that added bonus of the shadow chemistry style and his minimum price on the market at the minute is around 1,000 coins. So with that theoretical value that we've added on of around 3,000 coins because it costs 3,000 coins to add that chem style on, we should be in the money with that. Likewise with Dombele as well, I think that this guy is probably well worth 2,000 coins and we've just got him at 1.5k. So we list him up at 2,000 coins. We're going to get taxed 100 coins because of the 5% EA tax, but it doesn't really matter too much because we're going to be making 400 coins a time. And especially in the early stages, this is a really, really good way to make coins and it's something that I still use to this day so you can see right here that a thread has popped up and immediately gone so there's a thread here and he is actually going for around 3,000 coins there or thereabouts but you can actually get yourself really good deals just by sitting here and just trying to just trying to snipe for as cheap as you can possibly get them or you can take a look at whatever the minimum price is of all the cards and just try and skim off the top with them it can be quite harder to do that in my experience however you can just go and try this out so I'm going to go through and try and get myself a card with a sham a shamo, a shadow chemistry style on it. Just allow me, boys. These burn rates are going down too easy. All right, boys. We just managed to get ourselves an Don Belly. Now, this was someone who I was actually just paying like 1.5k for, and we've just managed to get him at 1,200 coins. So this is exactly how this method works, lads. I've tried just to show you three really easy methods, and these are methods which I've used in that trading to 1 million coin series. So if you want to watch me going from absolutely nothing to a million coins, maybe it helps you, maybe inspires you with some of the methods that you can be using. Make sure to go and check it out by clicking up here and there will be some other videos as well but let's see if we can get anything else damn it we've just missed out on a Marcus Lorente which would have been a really really good deal but I don't think that we're going to see too much else at this time to be honest but if we go over to the transfer list I'm pretty sure something sold on already yeah Lamer sold on at 2,000 coins already which is really really sick now boys considering it is Christmas this is where I'm going to be wrapping this video up because I'm currently recording this on Christmas Eve 
I just want to go and chill now. I'm going to get this video edited and up in the morning. And then tomorrow, it's going to be a very, very weird Christmas day. So like I said, lads, hopefully you do have a good Christmas. Thank you so much to everyone who came and joined the stream tonight. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back soon with more streams. But lads, this is Betty Six. Lewis, this has been some easy way to make coins for beginners. Probably the best way to make coins in FIFA 21 right now. And I am off. Goodbye.